Hey guys, Eddie Cochran here. I was building out this custom slides in Flash for one of my clients to use with Explaindio. And what I found out is that as I set this up, I created all the elements so they're actually outlines. So we can come in and turn off, let's say you want to turn off the background and just have a color to give it a different look and feel for one slide. Or you could come turn the background back on same with the trees and rocks I can turn off the rocks in the cave I can turn off the trees and just give him a desert look and feel or I can put the trees back I can make the trees move up and down I can make them smaller let's say you want to make them way off in the distance or up closer we can just stretch them out to give a slide a different perspective so we move the trees so they look farther back in the background. Same with the rocks here. We can move them up or down, stretch them out, make them look more in the scene. But I thought it was kind of cool that you could create a different perspective of all these elements in the same slide. So we could move the cave let's see get the cave back in the background here we can actually make it way in the back make it a whole lot smaller change the scale so we can come back here and actually make it that's not the right one so we change the scale move the trees around anyway I thought that was pretty cool that it gives you a lot of elements that you can move around for your backgrounds to change the perspective within the same slide by just being able to move these background elements around as you go so anyway I don't know how many Explaindio slides you can actually do this with, but this is where I'll be setting up mine, <clears throat> is creating the background so each piece can be turned on or turned off. And I'll give you some ideas of what you can do when you create your own custom slides or using some of the elements in the slide to change the perspectives. Alright, this is Eddie Cochran. Thanks for watching. Hope you all enjoyed it.